it's an absolute pleasure to be talking with you. First things first, man, I want to check in. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, man. Today's been a really nice day. Got a lot done. Was able to go up on the mountain. My dog made it back down here in time to talk to you. Um, so all is well. How about you, my man? Yeah, yeah, doing really well. Kind of recovering from um, Bloodstock Festival that just took place. Like, I've, oh yes, you know, yeah, our first sort of major festival this year coming out of the the COVID times. Oh wow, that must have been a lot of fun. I'm sure you had an absolute fucking blast. How many days was it? It was a uh... five. Holy shit, man! Were you there for all five? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah. We were, yeah. <laughs> it was great. But by Sunday, you know, it was like time to go home. Need some yep. food. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. How, how about how many people would you say were at this concert? There was like a lot of people, like a lot. Supposedly, supposedly about twenty thousand. Whoa! Mm. Wow, man, that's a big number. Yeah, it was just nice to have that bit of normality. And how about yourself, man? Like, over the last uh, 18, 19 months, how have you been coping in the COVID times? Uh, you know, this last, the last 18 months have really been kind of a, a going back to the drawing board of personal life and personal agendas and priorities and kind of just filling, on, filling in all the space and time that I wasn't able to, you know, get to between being on the road all the time before and working and whatnot. So the last 18 months really um, were kind of beneficial. You know, um, I got, uh, I started working a new job. I started landscaping with a friend of mine and uh, it just turned, in, turned into being something I really love and I really enjoy. And it kind of uh, was exactly what I needed at that point in my life and, and moving forward to where I'm at now. Um, so the whole last, last couple, you know, this last period of our, of our life where everything's been shut down has been really kind of like a, a relationship with myself, kind of like rebuilding myself, you know, kind of getting ready for, for, for what's to come in the future. Um, a lot of exercising, a lot of time outside. Um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of everything. <laughs> it's it's awesome to hear man because obviously it's such a negative period so to hear any level of positivity coming out of it is is just so uplifting yeah man it's, you know it's it's kind of hard to see any positivity in anything you know with 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 a lot of what's going on you know in the world and right now positivity is a is a, a self-help mechanism that we just have to turn on you know like sometimes we need to do things um, with the premises of just trying to feel okay, feeling mm. right, and you know, feeling good, just feeling good, you know, for, for for the day or for the time being, you know, get ourselves distracted from what's going on in the world. Sometimes, you know, push away from it, and uh, do things that we love and that we're passionate about, you know, and then maybe go back to back to the real world a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> depending on depending on it you know um yeah that's cool man that's cool what about obviously the band overall obviously you've had a major aspect of that taken away from you just like every other band that you couldn't tour you couldn't go out and play live you couldn't do any of that so but have you guys been able to keep yourselves in a really good place oh yeah you know it we kind of really looked out uh because we already in, intended on having this time um that we that we were going to that everything shut down we were going to spend that time not doing anything but finishing writing the album mm. and just building that process so without knowing that everything was going to shut down we kind of already had that plan so um it really was a time for us to kind of build this next phase of of the music you know yeah um yeah, yeah. that's awesome that it was like i said yeah. just it just by chance uh, fitted into your plans anyway. Um, has it been a very fruitful? Have you found it to be this downtime and writing and working on the album? Have you found it to be very um, fruitful for you? Have you found it to be very effective? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know the way we the way we do it is is kind of you know Brody and Biggs are our primary writers in the group, and they'll dish out ideas in song form or just 
you know, articulated ideas of themes or, or, or kind of like, uh, you know, so, so some of the sounds and themes that we were trying to create for this record, we'll propose them to each other in a group chat that we share and we kind of just play off each other. We work ideas off each other and we kind of like all piece together ideas and, and, and things that we kind of think of or feel when it, when it came to this particular season, this album. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I would say it went pretty well. I would say it was, it was a very, very interesting and exciting process, kind of seeing this particular, this particular album, this, this particular creation that we did, see it come out and see where it was going to be going. You know, it, it's unlike anything that we've done before. You know, um, you know, yeah. Well, that's fascinating because there's a strong argument where where I was know my name was a real, real like big moment for the band. It really felt like a huge, huge moment, and obviously to be able to, whereas often momentum building has been cancelled out by COVID, it still feels like you guys are heading in an upward trajectory. Are you feeling that too? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I definitely feel that the momentum is still there. You know, there's this, you know, like, like I kind of said with like the time that everything was shut down, we kind of intended to have that time off. So hmm. knowing that that year was off and even though all those things kind of happened, in fact, all those things kind of happening played, played I, I, th I think it kind of fueled us in a way too to like really be completely wrapped around the creative process of this album with so much, so many other things being shut down and we couldn't participate with them. So there was less to be distracted by and we were more like funneled in on this creative process. I, I do think, I do think that like the going from morales to where we're at now, we still, we still have it alive. <laughs> we're, we're still moving in that direction with it. So, you know, I, at least I hope, you know, <laughs> Well, you, you, you have to tell us, because of course, it's not out to the 24th of September, 2021. What's different this time around, do you think, within the band, that while it's still clearly you guys, but would also show the progression, do you think it's quite obvious when you listen to this album? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we're, 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 moving, we're moving in a more finite direction that is articulating the unique creative sound that we are kind of, we are all been inspired by and continue to be inspired by whether it's modern music that's coming out or music that's you know from from our from from our upbringing um you know we 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 are we are kind of like allowing ourselves to like settle into the sand of all these different aspects of influence and trying to let, let it come out in our, our, our most original way and I, I think every time we write an album because we don't try to, you know, it's obvious. We don't, we don't try to rewrite the same album completely. You know, we, we want to do something different. And, uh, you know, I think that every time we're doing that, we're kind of putting on a more cohesive, cohesive suit that fits us better than the last one did. And it, and, 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 and in a way that like, you know what I mean? It's it, it, in, in a way that like it expresses our authenticness a little bit more, you know, I, I, don't, know, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to sound too weird, you know what I mean? But like, <laughs> but yeah, you kind of get where I was going with that, you know? Yeah, it's um, the difficulty of trying to ask an artist to describe their art, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, mean, from my perspective, it seems like you're still game and still very interested in not just challenging metal conventions in general, but challenging fans of the band. So to expect what is something they will enjoy, but also something that will be different for them? For them, uh, this time around. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, you know, there's, there's definitely, uh, there, there's some music on this album that has come, moved away from, from a lot of the elements that may have been predominantly consistent through the, the past, album you know past records mm. and it's not that that particularly is the objective of course but again it's 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 that that we're trying to portray a certain kind of theme and sound so i think for for the other members 
you know, we're, we're all exercising our ability to do something that we haven't done before. Um, and we're trying to do it well. We're trying mm-hmm. to, we're trying to do it in a, in a way that like, we hope we get it right the first time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I think we're all exercising and the other guys are exercising their creative, uh, the creative limbs, you know, they're, stre- they're, they're trying to stretch them in ways that maybe they weren't, they weren't bent before, you know, uh, or arc before, you know. Um, so you feel so, like you, you feel like your creativity is constantly like expressed and able to come out freely. Um, yeah, you know, I, I I think it does. You know, for for those who are creating and those who are part of the making this the live process, which is all of us, you know, including the fans, you know, um, and 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 everyone a part of this you know, part of what we do, you know, they're all, they're all, you know, they're all playing an instrument, whether it's musical or not, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and I, 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 I do think that I do, I, I do think that we're all trying to kind of orchestrating, you know, in a, in a, in a better direction with this one. Your enthusiasm uh, absolutely shines through. And if people listening yeah. were excited beforehand, there's every bloody good reason to be excited just listening to you talk. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, dude. How's the drive? I gotta ask. I mean, the drive to not only obviously get back on the road, but obviously with a new album in tow, man. Are you just are you just chomping at the bit to get back on that stage? Yeah, you know, I'm like I'm really excited. I'm really excited uh, to to do it. You know, it feels like it's been so long. Um, and, you know, I'm the kind of person who's like, although I miss it while I was away, I try to be right where I'm at and not and not be too concerned about the things that like, I don't have. Um, but now coming back to this space and this space is, you know, is, you know we're, we're almost there again. Um, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really ready to open that door again. And... Uh, you know, and UK just, loves you, man. <laughs> you know that, right? I, I, I love his back. I love his back. So there's, it, there's a reason why I started mentioning Bloodstack at the start is because um, there's currently a bit of chatter going on in certain bit, uh, uh, pages and things about what bands people want to see at Bloodstock 2022. And of course, I'm not asking you to confirm or deny anything. It's too far into the future. But one of the names that has cropped up so much is you guys. So yeah, just putting it out there. That would be great. It would be awesome. I mean, like we, we haven't really had a tremendous uh, a festival experience, especially over in Europe. Mm. So, um, you know, all the more the better. And <laughs> next year, next year sounds like it would be great. I, I can only hope for that, man. On that I can note, only hope for that. On that note, I've already taken up too much of your time. I know you've got more going on. Thank you. So, oh, yeah. Sam, thank you so much for doing this, mate. Absolutely, Carl. Thank you, man. I hope to talk to you soon. See you, see you, see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?